Now the mean and mean absolute deviation. I have already calculated the mean. Here is 13.6, here is 14.2. So now we go to mean absolute deviation, this difficult monster word. Basically what it means is how far are these data values on average from the mean? We calculate it by calculating first the difference of each value to the mean. And then we take the average of the differences. Okay? So, for example, here, 12 and 13.6, they differ by 1.6, right? And then 13 and 13.6, the difference here is 0 0.6, okay? Then 14 and 13.6, they differ by 4 tenths. And here they differ by 1.4, and lastly then 3.4. And these differences are always taken as positives, okay? You cannot take some of them as negative numbers because then they would can cancel out with the positives. So everything is taken positive, you add these together and divide by however many there are. You take the average or the mean of those. That's why it says mean here or average, okay? And the word absolute refers to the fact that we're taking the absolute difference or the absolute deviation from the mean instead of taking some of them negative and some of them positive. And I have calculated all this now beforehand, so we don't have to take time adding them all up and dividing. And the mean absolute deviation for this set is 1.04. The mean was 13.6. Over here, we do the same. Look at the difference between each data value and the mean. Okay, so here we get 6.2. 2.2, then 1.2, here's 0 0.2, then 15 and 14.2 is 0 0.8, the difference is 0 0.8, the positive difference again, it would be 1.8, 2.8, 4.8, and 5.8. All right, so now that list is ready. And then you would add those up and divide by 20, however many there are. And I calculated it and it is 2.26. And the mean was 14.2. All right. Now our calculations are ready and we can now compare not just the graphs, but also the numbers. And in these two groups, if we look at the median, the median is less here than there. The mean also is less here than there. So, on average, that group did better on the test, because the mean and median both are a little bit more. However, in here, the results varied way less than over there, which we can see from the interquartile range, from the range, and from the mean absolute deviation. All of those measures are less here than over there. And one more word about the mean absolute deviation. Like I said, it tells us the average distance of data values to the mean, okay? So on average, these test results just differ by about one point from the mean, which was 13.6, mm, somewhere here. So on average, they differ by one point from the mean. Whereas over here, on average, the test results differ from the mean by over two points. Okay, so that's what I want you to understand about this concept. I hope this was helpful.